What's something $100 or less but is a total game changer? Serious. Please like, subscribe and comment so I can create more videos for you. Musician's earplugs. Mine cut down the sound level by 2 stroke 3 or so and I use them at every concert, but also on the subway, at loud bars etc. They don't make things sound muffled, just quieter. Your ears can't regenerate, ever, and my work depends on my hearing so I gotta keep them safe. And my pair only cost about $25 Canadian. Edit, quite a few people were curious about pair I use. These, Long McQuaid web page, are pretty similar to mine, but check out how cheap, these, Long McQuaid web page, are. You've got no excuse, protect your ears. I just head to your local music shop and see what they've got, it's the kind of thing you want to see in person. Thanks for the golden attention, I feel all popular. Would you mind linking yours? I'm trying to get better at protecting my ears, and eyes and skin, and this sounds like a great start. A portable power station. It's insane how useful it is. I got mine for $90. It has flashlights, an air compressor, charging ports for plug-ins usps. It has a few other functions I cannot think of ATM. But lastly, it will jump a car for, six times before it needs recharged. And charges quickly. Never have that awkward experience with strangers and I can even jump someone else quickly and efficiently with no risk to my own. And in winter oh fucking boy it's a game changer life, saver. I've never felt more confident in my pose car since. Edit, this blew up a little and I've got no time to answer, work and all. I've got the Schumacher 1200 peak amp multifunctional portable digital power station if you can get it on sale it's perfect and prices differ by area. They also need tiny maintenance as others posted recharging every so often and not leaving them to bake in your car. I keep mine inside during the warmer months if I'm not going anywhere. It's just a good thing to keep in the car for winter. Conversely, do not get this if you're the kind of person who is bad at maintaining things on a regular basis. These are not something you can charge then leave in your car for 2 years. They are supposed to be recharged every 6 months. A pressure cooker and a slow cooker, you can get both for less than $100. With whatever money you have left over, bulk order rice and beans by the pound. As a Brazilian, my father grew up eating rice and beans, and the meal has stuck with him to the extent that every day he'll make at least one batch. What takes my grandma hours to make the old-fashioned way can now be done in about an hour and five minutes, with five minutes of effort and an hour of waiting. He buys in bulk so feeding our entire family of five a full meal costs about $1.50 total. For anyone on a budget, or anyone who really likes rice and beans, I could not recommend this more. Edit, we use an instant pot for the beans and an aroma brand slow cooker for the rice. While we could just do everything in the instant pot, it's easier because both cook simultaneously to speed up the process. For the rice, put in 2 cups of rice and 1 cup of water, hit the white rice button, and you're good. This takes about an hour to cook. For the beans, many of us actually don't eat meat in our family, so our recipe doesn't use any, but I'm sure you could throw some in to try it out. Put in 2 cups of beans, 5 cups of water, 3 cloves of crushed garlic, 2-3 bay leaves, and a finely chopped medium sized onion. Press the beans button, make sure the timer is at 45 minutes, and you're good. This takes about 45 minutes to cook but we always let it rest for 15 minutes or so before releasing the pressure. For the sake of those new to pressure cookers, there's a dial you twist to release the pressure, and we do this with a ladle from a foot away. The pressure lessens the longer you wait after the meal has finished cooking, so after 15 minutes steam will still release but far less than if you had not waited. Add some salt directly into the pot of beans and stir. When serving, People will usually add a bit more salt, and some of our family likes to mix in one stroke to an avocado when we have them lying around. I hope this is helpful and happy cooking. When I moved in with my college roommate, he said he wanted to string up RGB lights. As a PC nerd, I thought I would go along with it for the memes. As it turned out, it was amazing to have. 
Not only did it erase the monotony of a hardly decorated, prison cell size door, but it allowed us to introduce some variation into our lives as well. For holidays we could always choose colors of the season, but when for example someone needed to stay up and study, but the other needed to sleep, you could set it to a dark blue. It would give enough light to read a worksheet, and allow the other to sleep. The icing on the cake was that they were synced to his Echo Dot. All we ever had to do was say Alexa, turn the lights off, or Alexa, make the lights, insert color here, dart. We ended up never needing the overhead light, and just use the RGBs. For $20 minus $30, and I'm dead serious, get a strip of RGB lights in your room. With your remaining budget, you could probably get the Echo Dot too. This is too real. My wife and I had a baby earlier this year and the bedside lights were way too bright for the nighttime feedings. They woke us and the baby up too much and made it hard to fall back asleep. I had a few strips of RGB LED, from a project I didn't I ran a strip along the moldings on one wall with a remote. Now we use them all the time. Blue or red at night is pretty easy on the eyes. I use the dimmest white to pick clothes in the morning without waking the wife or baby. They're awesome. A weighted blanket. One of the best purchases I've ever had. Edit, there seems to be a lot of questions and many of them repeat so I'll try to answer the most frequent ones. Where can you get a good one for less than $100? A. Amazon has great ones for $70 100 but tend to either be twin size or on the lighter side. However you can also get good and heavy ones on sale, especially around this time of year. Don't they get hot? A. A bit, but I live in the cold for most of the year due to the weather and stick my feet out during the hotter days. Aren't they for autistic people? A. Yes and number. They are used to help some of the people who have to live with autism, but are also used for a lot of restless people. How do you clean them? A. I use a duvet cover, and wash that weekly, then take it to the laundromat every 90 days or so. So, my GF bought one of these and I absolutely hate it. I guess I like having more movement and not being constricted in bed and the damn thing annoys me to no end. I guess different strokes for different folks. Pressure cooker. They keep the flavor in the food so well and the modern ones are very low maintenance while cooking. Disclaimer, I don't own one. My mom does. I just get to eat the delicious food that comes out of it. Edit, I have to mention. The biggest difference I've seen between pressure cooked and non-pressure cooked was Mexican style beans. I never in my life thought beans could hold that much flavor. Enough brand Roomba cleaning robot. This is a lifesaver especially if you have wooden floors and a dog that sheds or are a girl, or dude, with long hair and carpeted floors. Edit, yes. There are under $100 ones available online. Not the best and you need to physically remove the trash from the bin but still definitely worth it. I have waist long hair and a dog who sheds faster than the laws of physics should allow so it's a dream for me. I put googly eyes on mine, and named him Samwise. My dog is called Frodo. A food saver vacuum sealer. Our food waste has gone down so, so, so much. Plus, I am able to buy meat at Costco and freeze it on half pound portions. And when chicken goes on sale, I seal it in two serving portions. This machine paid for itself in the first few months and has saved me hundreds of dollars. My family gets a honey baked ham for the holidays and I am able to enjoy that ham in April and July if I want it. Got one for Christmas. Broke it out of the box early today. The grocery store near us had whole prime strip loins on sale for $4.99 per pound. I ended up buying two 10 pounders. Not sure what happened but they got rung up for $2.49 per pound. So I got 20 pounds of prime strip loin for $50. I butchered them into steaks when I got home and vacuum sealed them. A filing cabinet, folders and a label maker. This was a total game changer when I was tired of spending hours looking for a specific document. I can pull taxes, healthcare docs, warranties, receipts, etc in seconds. It's also nice because stuff doesn't pile up on a desk or table. It gets dealt with or filed. The label maker is a big help in legibility and quick visual reference. 
Also if you're going to tackle organizing your crap, I recommend checking out Getting Things Done by David Allen. A safety razor. The blades are super cheap, it's great for the environment no plastic waste, they severely reduce razor burn and they last forever. This is great for male or female, the blades feel good and they have such a longer life than other disposables. The only thing you throw away is the packaging for the blades, everything else is metal and is recycled super easily. Honestly friends, give it a try. It's great. Zajirashi Insulated Stainless Steel Water Bottle, Spisiplum Web Page, I used to have so much trouble staying hydrated when I was out. I didn't like plastic water bottles from convenience stores and I hated using a water fountain. Now that I carry water with me, I am always drinking water when I am out. It is vacuum insulated, so it keeps water cold for hours and hours on end. You can even put hot miso soup in it for cold hikes. It is stainless steel, so it is BPA, free. The company is a Japanese rice cooker company, but the bottle is made in Thailand. All of the other companies, as well, Clean Canteen, Hydro Flask, Yeti, make theirs in China. It has a flip lid that pops open and stays open for you to drink. It only takes one hand to open or to close. This mechanism alone makes it stand heads and shoulders above the rest. It is 20 ounces which is decent. I would prefer larger, but it is still good enough. My only other option would be to buy a second one for backup if needed. Breeze Litter Box, $25 Amazon you just need the pan not the included supplies and wood pellet bedding, $6 40 pounds tractor supply store and puppy training pads, $15 box of 100, equals months of worry free litter system for cats. The breeze pans have a reservoir on the bottom and a sifting top. Put the puppy pad in the reservoir bottom. Put sifter on top. Add pellets. The wood pellets turn to sawdust when wet, urine, dart. The sawdust falls through to the bottom where it collects neatly on the puppy pad. Poop stays on top but dries out with the wood. You can easily sift it out and dispose. The wood absorbs odor and there is no litter dust. Every week, or when reservoir is full. Place sifter on clean puppy pad, ball up ends of used pad with sawdust and throw away compost the sawdust, then replace sifter. Benefits, cost, I have 3 cats and using this system, I can get 6 months of litter for under $10. I used to spend $15 a week on litter alone time, because you don't have to scoop the urine, cleaning the boxes go so fast. I have 4 boxes with this setup and I can clean them all in under 10 minute daily. For the weekly pad change it adds maybe 5 minutes. Ease, I have always been lazy with litter boxes, but this system keeps me on it without extra effort clean factor, there isn't litter dust and cats don't track litter around the house. Sometimes one of my cats grabs a random pallet and chases it around the house, but that's very easy to clean. Sweeps up like nothing. Green, itch, it's not perfect but it is less environmentally impactful than litter. The wood pallets are byproduct of the lumber industry, made from compressed sawdust remnants. You could definitely skip the puppy pad and make it very low impact by mulching the sawdust. I'm wondering if someone on Etsy makes reusable puppy pads that could be washed, HMM adaptable, I use the breeze pans, but you could drill holes into an existing litter box or other plastic container and have it work, making it cheaper. That's how I started at my house. But my pans had a smaller reservoir between sifter and bottom so I had to empty more often. Again, I'm laser so I made the investment for breeze pans. Cons, cats don't like change so it might be an adjustment period. I give mine a week of the new box next to the clay litter. I only keep the pellets clean and won't touch the litter. The cats all want to use the clay until they realize it isn't being cleaned. Then they use the pellets. Then I don't give them a choice and switch to only wood. I had two feralish foster kittens learn this way with no issues, plus my own cats adapted just fine. Edit formatting. As a straight man living in the US, I had surgery for a pill on it'll cyst, basically a cyst in your ass crack. My dad purchased a bidet for $45 and installed it, at first totally puckered up and screamed. As the angle of attack is pretty furious. After a while I got used to it, but definitely a game changer and any girlfriend or visitors that come over love it. 
Also my hini is healthier than it's ever been. Also as a bonus you save on buying toilet paper, just use some to dry off. The internet, it's almost a free education. You can find free coding boot camps, MIT lectures, and more on there. It's not only the free education everyone is demanding, without the fancy piece of paper that costs hundreds of thousands, but also one of the best networking tools out there which is what college is mostly these days. Maybe one day people will actually move beyond that piece of paper, instead of demanding we pay for it with our taxes for our whole lives. A high quality bra that fits you properly. Most bras in North America use a too generic sizing system and the associates in places like Versus don't know how to actually size women. Get you to a proper bra store, if you're in Canada, changes does a half decent job, or visit a high end department store, or go to the UK, and get sized and fitted properly. Your bras will no longer rub, chafe, cut into your armpits or ride up, your boobs will be locked into place. You get a pretty, sexy, frilly thing, if you're into that. And it'll last you significantly longer than anything from Versus or similar. Our bra that fits is an excellent place to start. Summarizing the top ones for the lazy ones. Rollerblade wheels for desk chairs, with brakes for gamers to avoid sliding. 10 feet long charging cables for phones good pillow kitchen trash can with pedal good underwear. Battery bank with fast charging and ascent capacity portable power station for car, car jump, light, inflate wheels, power bank etc good kitchen knives quality bed sheets SSD, will turn any crappy computer with SATA into a modern usable machine, nice glass container for the leftover slow close toilet seat good first aid kit blackout curtains electric toothbrush a weighted blanket dash cam. Insulate your house by renting insulate blower braider charging cable for your phone good multi-tool like Leatherman rice cooker. A tourniquet and the proper training in how to use them. In a lab setting 80% of improvised tourniquets failed. In real life that number will be higher. It takes 5 to 8 minutes to bleed to death and up to 25% of gunshot deaths could have been prevented if the tourniquet had been properly applied. It boggles my mind we have CPR kits and classes but as soon as you mention tourniquets people think you are some goddamned loon. You would think for all the news of mass shooting we would, be somewhat better informed on the things that can actually save lives. Cast iron frying pan. Hell for $100 you can get a whole set at the thrift store and the old stuff is arguably better than buying new. Use oven cleaner, the harsh version to strip it down to bare iron then season it over and over and over again. You will never buy pots and pans again in your whole life. Burn shit super bad. No problem just season it. No really it's fucked up. No problem. Just, season it. I shop refurbed and used. Here are some amazing things I've gotten for around 100 or less. 1. Samsung soundbar, way more immersive movies. 2. Dyson Vacuum, way better air watts and easier cleaner. 3. Bose noise cancelling headphones, fantastic for helping me manage my PTSD overstimulation at a loud call center on breaks and music has never sounded more pure. 4. Weighted blanket, sleep so good and calming to lay down in. 5. Osprey backpacks, can't be beat. 6. Heated motorcycle gloves. 7. A purple pillow. Good support with neutral pushback. 8. A bedroom humidifier. Bought new. 9. A plastic slide and a indoor ball pit and tunnel for my toddler. 10. Vacuum seals for my wine. 11. Noon D's underwear. Seriously the best underwear by miles. 12. Bombus socks. Best socks of all time. 13. Brooks running shoes. Not. Newtonian fluid in soles. Soft when you walk. Springy and firm when you run. 14. Jalbo sunglasses. This is mostly for people who have vaginas. The original Hitachi personal wand, now called magic wand, costs about $85 for a wireless or about $125 for the one with a cord. It is a miracle for when you have a long dry spell and don't want to start a new relationship or something casual just to be satisfied. Work on computers and your arms are shit so satisfaction is hell on the arms. Have a partner who is clueless or lazy in bed. 
have difficulty generally climaxing, have a long distance relationship, have non-compatible schedules with your partner and need satisfaction when they are unavailable, have a higher libido than your partner, have never had an orgasm and out you can, have a partner who could go forever but still not get you off because of things they can't help, like your anxiety or inability to be focused on the sex instead of daily worries, and could die from exhaust, have only a little bit of time and can save the other person from being late to work, are more easily satisfied with clitoral stimulus than internal, just a warning, of course, they are not refundable, loud as hell, and can injure you slightly if you start out at max speed. Also, look out for fake ones, buy only from the direct manufacturer's site, because there's a ton of counterfeit ones on the market. And just for your information, you can use the wireless while it charges, but it does work better, is more powerful fully charged. This may be a bit TMI, but honestly, it can make a huge difference when you are struggling for lack of satisfaction. Women are especially prone to ignore their needs due to the pressure to not come off slutty, but honestly, orgasms are a human need. So why not? Edit, I'm pretty sure that they have a discreet packaging option as well in case that's important to you. Edit, also remember to use toy cleaner. It's made of silicon so regular soap will cause degradation of the materials. Viagra. Even if you're a young guy, I guarantee you it will make sex 10 times better. If you are younger than 35 just half a pill of a 50 mg Viagra Sildenafil will give you a full night and morning of diamond hard cock to pile drive your love interest, and it also makes your ejaculation stronger. And I guarantee your partner will feel the difference too. Edit, for clarification, you don't actually stay hard the whole time. Your penis goes flaccid after you orgasm. Viagra makes it easier and faster to get hard when you are aroused and makes your erections firmer. The only time where you would stay firmly erect, after ejaculating is if you took too much. And yes, if your erection hasn't come down after 4 continuous hours go to the ass so they suck out the blood with a syringe. Full night and morning of diamond hard cock, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to call a doctor at some point in there, 